These nine products and iPad OS features help me make the most out of my 11 inch iPad Pro. First off, we got multitasking. Now Apple calls this multitasking. I call it split screen, tomato, tomato. Look, anytime I'm able to split my screen in half and navigate between different programs and features, it's a great thing. So check out this multitasking feature right here. Here's a script that I hand wrote using the iPad Pro and my Apple Pencil, more on that in a little bit, called I'm selling my M1 Mac Mini. What I love is that let's say I need some info on the Mac Mini. Let's say I'm missing some key information and I wanna research what I'm talking about before I go ahead and put it in my script. I can simply just go up here and say I want to bring up the news section, if you will, and split my screen and multitask, right? And so if I want to find anything regarding Apple, let's say I want to find anything regarding the Mac Mini, when will your Mac desktop computer become obsolete? There you go. Let's grab that. And let's just say I want to grab like a quote from here or whatever. Now I can go ahead and take a look at this, maybe copy paste this, select, copy this, and then bring it into my notes over here and say, I want to paste. And there you go. I can simply copy paste from one source or one application to another. You can do this with Apple Music. So let's say I'm writing notes and I just wanna to listen to some music in the background. And now while that's playing, I can go ahead and still do my notes and adjust these windows if I need to. So move this to the side, move this a little bit more if I want more music, less notes. And also what you can do is you can grab these little three dots right here and bring this in the middle. Now what this does is it actually allows you to move your iPad app from one side to another, making it very mobile and your main screen is still underneath there. And if at any time you just wanna get rid of it, all you do is swipe up, swipe it away, and now you're back to your notes app. Now what's really cool is that you have these three buttons on top, which Apple calls the multitasking menu, and it allows you to isolate the app, but still have room for the rest of your content on the screen. So in this case, I have news isolated, but my notes are within reach whenever I need to access them. So what I could do is I could literally just grab the side of the app, swipe it to the left, and now you see this little arrow right here. This arrow indicates that there's an app there that I can access whenever I need to. So I have my notes app in full screen, swipe right, there's the article that I'm looking for. I can, again, peruse what I need to. And then when I'm done, just swipe left again and it goes away. And also you can do this with multiple apps. So let's say I wanna bring in Apple Music, right? So now I have Apple Music on the left-hand side. Notice this little arrow is still here. I can actually bring this to the right. And so now I have three apps open. I have my News app, my Apple Music app, and my Notes app all sharing the screen at the same time. And I still have not left the Notes section of my app at all. That's multitasking and I absolutely love it. Now there are multiple features that I absolutely love about notes that help me stay organized and productive. The first being folders. I have a bunch of my folders right here on the left side of the screen. Everything from arc overload stuff to scripts for something else. Now to be able to do something like write a quick note, bring it up and say, here is a quick note. And to get rid of that, is super useful, but on top of that, when I go to Quick Notes here, let's say I wanna drag this to a different folder. Let's say it's something that I have an idea for this channel for Arc Overload. All I have to do is grab this and move it into the Arc Overload folder. So now when I go into Arc Overload, there is the note, here's a quick note, and I can continue that idea. Now, if you're anything like me, handwriting your ideas or, or notes is far more productive for you than it is to simply type them. For whatever reason, the action of putting pen to paper or virtual pen to virtual paper brings out more of the creative juices. So handwritten notes, you can actually take them and turn them into written notes. And here's what I mean by that. So I'm going to make a quick note here and I'm going to write something. Now I'm left-handed, so excuse me one second while I make this not awkward at all while I'm filming. Test this out. All right, now let's see if uh, iPad OS can recognize my terrible handwriting. And now what I can do is I can actually press and hold on the I, drag it all the way to the end. You'll see this yellow highlighter type thing going on over here. I'll tap on this lightly and say copy as text. I'll bring it over here and now I want to paste what I just wrote. And I'm going to test this out. Totally worked. I love doing stuff like this. So I like putting stuff into lists and saying, you know, here's my idea, idea one, here's idea two, here's idea three. By the way, I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually uh, press and swipe down to make the number as opposed to going to number and then pressing the three, all that kind of stuff. So another shortcut there for you, that's a freebie. Um, and say idea four. What's cool is that I can 
aside from just checking them off and saying, yep, I completed that, I can also say, hey, you know what? Idea four really should be idea two, and idea two really should be idea three, and et cetera, et cetera. I can actually grab this and move it to idea two. So now I have idea one, four, two, and three, and I want two to be my last idea. And then when I'm done, I can just check them off whenever I have completed that task. You can move them around with the bulleted lists. Have you ever gotten a piece of mail that's rich in text that you thought was super valuable and you wanted to bring it into a digital space that you can search? Well, here's something that you can do that will make your life a lot easier. Thanks to iPad OS and live text, you can actually take a picture using your iPad of that document I happen to have one right here that our garbage collection company sent to us that told us you know, what's considered organic, what's considered garbage, what's considered plastic, recyclable, all that kind of stuff. And so I want this information into my notes so that I can later organize it, put it in a spreadsheet or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm here in the photo app and I'm going to actually click this little button right here and it's going to highlight all the text that's in this photo. Now there's a lot of text that's in this photo, right? I am now going to, let's say, press on one of these and say, select all. It has selected every single piece of text that's in this document. I'm gonna press one more time and say, copy. That's been copied. I'm gonna go into notes. I'm gonna open up a new note right here. And I'll say, garbage collection data. I'm gonna hit paste. Everything from that document, everything from that, picture that I took is right there and you're good to go. All right, let's scan some documents. So I've got some uh, music flashcards over here. Instead of me taking 25 pictures of these in photos, I want to take these and organize them into one note. That's called music flashcards. Well, here's what I can do. I can go ahead and hit this camera icon right here and say scan documents. Under scan documents, I can take this card right here and it automatically takes a picture of it, right? It says ready for next scan. It's gonna take it automatically. Boom, so I got D and E, let's do one more, let's do F, and it's gonna take it, and there you go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit save, rename this as music flash cards, save. And here it is, it's called music flash cards. So I just get in there, boom, those are the three flashcards that I took pictures of. So it keeps everything really organized for you. So you, again, you don't have to clutter up your iPhoto library and it's easy to find and searchable. Next up is my Apple Pencil Substitute. This is not an Apple Pencil. This is an Apple Pencil Substitute by a brand called KXT. And the reason why I have this and not the regular Apple Pencil is because I lost my Apple Pencil. Uh, after a year, I completely lost it and I have no idea where it is. So instead of forking up another $130, I went online. This has amazing reviews and I'll leave the uh, link in the description box below for Amazon if you're interested in getting something like this. You know, maybe if you wanna take it uh, to go while you're traveling or put it in your backpack as an extra one so you don't want to lose you know your expensive apple pencil but you can get the 30 dollars replacement yes i said 30 dollars and it works just fine it is usb-c uh chargeable so you charge it via usb-c and you do have to press this little button right here um, for the Bluetooth to connect with the iPad Pro, but once it connects, it's totally fine. It's super easy to connect. Let me show you how easy I can write a note with this. As you can see, very little, if no latency whatsoever. Uh, it, it feels great. The only downside is you can't like do the double tap to switch to the eraser. So all I have to do is just click on this, go to eraser and just say, hey, erase all of this. That's a minor inconvenience. I don't really mind. And then when I'm done, just go back and continue writing. The next thing I like to do is because of this channel, I make a lot of YouTube thumbnails and I create those using Canva and I love using Canva on the iPad. It's super um, convenient and it is intuitive. It works just like Canva would work uh, on the desktop. You could do everything that I'm about to show you in the free version. Highly recommend you to check it out if you haven't done so yet. So I'm gonna go into Canva I'm gonna grab like, let's say this thumbnail idea. Why would you buy this low investment? Oh, that'll make someone click on something, right? Take this, I don't want this person in the video. Take them out, camera roll. Let's say I'm going to bring in this iPad mini that I'm selling. Why would you buy this? Bring this into my photos. Let's just say add to page and there you go. There it is, right? Make that bigger. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, obviously you can make this a whole lot more attractive if you wanted to. 
and then let's say position i want to say move this to back so that the text can go over it and yeah there you go there's a thumbnail i would click on that one of the reasons why i got an ipad pro believe it or not is because i wanted to get sidecar and another reason why i had to get an m1 machine was because i needed to, <laughs> to get sidecar i loved the idea of sharing my screen and essentially making it a second monitor so i'm going to show you how to do that and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click on this right here and say screen mirroring now some options come up, my Apple TV comes up, but also my iPad Pro comes up. I'm gonna click this and they'll find my iPad Pro and believe it or not, all of a sudden this right here is the extension of my M1 Max MacBook Pro. And look, it's very little lag. Let me like, let's say, uh, open up Safari. Let's go to my YouTube channel. Let's bring this down into the iPad. Now it's huge here, but what you can do, double click to make sure you get the right size. And look, there it is. I mean, it works perfectly well. I'll click on this video. There's an ad on my video that I'm not making any money off of because I don't have a thousand subscribers. Subscribe so I can get to a thousand subscribers, please. Thank you very much. Skip ads, and there's my video. Pushing with the M1 Mac Mini as much as I love it. No lag. As much as I adore the machine and how Like solid maybe it half a millisecond, but like there's no lag at all enough. whatsoever. Love that. Sidecar is so cool and I think it's such an amazing feature, something that I can't uh, wait to continue using with the Apple Studio display in the future. And the ninth and final tip, trick, productivity hack that I have for you to make the most out of your iPad, iPad Pro, iPad Mini, whatever iPad you have. And by the way, every tip that I've shown you today, you can do with any iPad. It doesn't have to be the iPad Pro. But I wanna to talk to you about universal control. Now for universal control to work, you need the latest Mac OS update and the latest iPad OS update. But in essence, what it allows you to do is to move your mouse and keyboard effortlessly from let's say your MacBook Pro to your iPad and back without needing uh, to connect a, a separate keyboard or mouse without having to uh, reconnect anything. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what you do is you go into system preferences and in system preferences, you click on displays. Now down here, you get something called universal control. Click on universal control and make sure that all three of these are clicked. So check this out. I'm gonna take my mouse right here and I'm going to move it to the left and continue pushing. Watch what happens. My mouse is now here <laughs> in iPad OS. How freaking cool is this? I can swipe left, swipe right, do whatever I need to do. Now let's say I wanna grab something that is only on the iPad that I haven't put uh, on my MacBook. I'm gonna open up my, my photos here and let's say I'm gonna take this picture and I wanna click and drag it onto my Mac. I can literally just take this Click, drag, and there it is, right there on my desktop. Let it go, and there we go. You know, look, I can actually open up another note that I want to type up and say, I'm going to try typing with this. Look, I have never actually connected this keyboard to this iPad, never. They're not connected Bluetooth. This is all through universal control. Absolutely love this and I think it's one of the coolest features that Apple has made in a very, very long time. And that's my list of productivity tools, apps, and tasks that I use to be more productive. What do you do with your iPad to be more productive? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your recommendations of what apps I should get to be more productive. Please let me know in the comment section down below. More videos coming soon. My name is Amir. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.